car reviewing YouTubers are not all made the same. There is a lot of car content creators out there, which makes me wonder why on earth am I thinking that I can do it when there's so many legends out there. There are so many amazing people out there creating car content, getting to review miraculous cars, getting to have unforgettable experiences, getting to do things that you or I wouldn't even dream about being able to do, and all of it through the lens of, of cars, which is incredible because it's just cars, like it, it's cars, not the movie cars, but it's just, just automobiles, right? It's just a thing to take you from point A to point B, but yet there's so many of us that form an identity and a connection and a bond in and around cars and in and around the cars that we purchase. For those of you who don't do that, here's some car YouTubers that are probably for you. Now, if I'm somebody who's not particularly interested in cars, but I'm somebody who's interested in purchasing a car and I'm looking at car reviews to confirm my bias about a vehicle, to confirm my bias about, is this car a good purchase? Is this car nice? Does it have good features? Is it everything that I need? Because every time I go to try to test drive, they want to immediately sell me and I already ran my credit. So now I have to buy something, but turns out I only have a 620 credit score, so I can't get the Land Rover Range Rover Defender. Instead, I end up leaving with a Chrysler 200. So before you find yourself in that predicament, here's a couple of suggestions that will take you from novice, I'm not really a car enthusiast, to at least educated enough to make a good decision on my next purchase. A couple channels that come to mind that I would start off with is Redline Reviews. Redline Reviews, this guy's been doing it as long as I can remember, the, ever since the first time I ever looked up a car review on YouTube, this guy has been there. Um, I forget his name, but Redline Reviews, he is absolutely knowledgeable, he is in depth, he takes you through everything you need to know about that vehicle, and unlike Doug DeMeo's stupid car score, Doug score, Dougie's, I don't know, his favorite car is a Land Rover, he could shut up. <laughs> shut up! Despite the way that he rates vehicles, Redline Reviews actually relates the vehicle that you're looking to purchase or the vehicle that you're interested in to its price segment, to its car category. Because as we know, there's compacts, coupes, midsize, midsize compacts, midsize sedans, full-size sedans. I think I said that. Midsize SUV, that's what I was going for. Full-size SUV, you know, off-road SUV, big, huge, chunkin', big, huge, ginormous, Rolls-Royce Cullinan, Chevy Suburban XL, Escalade SV, whatever it is. Some, it's one of those, it's an SV, something I don't know. I don't care that you broke your elbow. Escalade, two Escalades, pickup truck, dually, sports car, hypercar, all those things. He is plugged in to the knowledge that you actually want to hear about when you're like, okay, you know what? I need a college starter car. And then here he is driving the Corolla Hybrid and telling you why that might be a good college starter car or why it's a good compact mid-size sedan or subcompact sedan, why it's a good hybrid, why it's not a good hybrid. He goes into so much detail and so quickly he does. He goes into so much detail in a very quick and digestible manner that allows you to really be discerning when it comes to your next car purchase. Another one that comes up a little bit less detail but more about the glitz and glamour side of it, probably like a Doug DeMeo but with a soul, um, Rady's Rides. Uh, I don't particularly like his form because it doesn't really strike me as entertaining. It doesn't really take me into the place where I'm looking and I'm, I'm like really entertained by his content. If I wasn't as much as a car enthusiast as I am, but I was passively interested in cars, I think Rady's Rides would be somebody that I would check out a lot more. And especially if I'm looking to make a purchase for a vehicle, I'm like, you know what, I want something that's a little flashy, something that's cool. You know, I really want to just buy like a car that I really be set with to have for years and years. Rady's Rides will kind of take you there and kind of allow you to kind of look at what car for what category what lifestyle you're really trying to live another one on my list would be savage geese uh i know that doesn't sound like a car channel believe me i when i first saw it i thought it was a joke i didn't think it was a car channel but i he's a car channel savage geese i don't i don't know what that has to do with cars um but Savage Geese is pretty good. I like Savage Geese because there's a step up to the entertainment factor. There's a step up to the editing factor. There's a lot more. It's cinematic. It's cool to watch. Something you could click onto the actual TV in your house. You know, uh, Redline reviews or Rady's Rides. You're going to be like, this is very obviously a YouTube video. I kind of don't want to watch this. Um, Savage Geese is kind of like, I'd say it's kind of like Top Gear, but without hosts. 
So it's just one guy, but you don't really see him. Um, so that's what's cool about Savage Geese to me. A little bit more of a cinematic factor. He does go into like trends and topics that have to do with cars, um, but it does relate to the average consumer. And I feel it does relate to people that are outside of the realm of being car enthusiasts, but people who are passively interested in like, you know what? I don't really know a lot of cars that are out there, or I don't really know a lot of the new cars or what's available, what's on the market, what's here, what's there. Um, and he kind of goes into that. So it's like, if you're looking for like, oh, why is this car popular? You know, he kind of talks about it. Like I've seen some videos like the Ionic six that he does uh the hyundai uh prologue that he did so he's like he's on the he's on the cusp on the cutting edge of like what's being announced and what like even the enthusiasts are like looking at and being like what's going on with that car uh because it also you know relates to you like somebody who's just maybe not particularly interested in cars and it goes there now going into the next kind of range of people these are definitely a little less than passive car enthusiasts people who are actively car enthusiasts but people who aren't like me who are just going to spend like anywhere from three to six thousand dollars on a car that doesn't work to k24 swap it and then take it to a track to uh basically go ghost uh through a pile of cinder blocks this is for guys that are like or you know gals too whoever you know trans all those i'm lady boy these channels are for consumers who are going to actually purchase like a ready-made car that works uh you know looking to have purchase a car that's it's fun looking to have fun with cars in cars around cars in the realm and community of cars uh, cars 2 that was just a spy movie without james bond because without james bond it, it's just you know you get mater i'm not a spy I'm not a spy but these channels include uh, Throttle House, The Fast Lane, Mighty Car Mods, Car Wow as well. Something that I'm really actually loving right now that I want to leave as an honorable mention, Marquez Brownlee, um, MKBHD, MKBHD, MKBD, MK, MKHD. One, he's one of those. Um, he does a new channel called Autofocus. And I never really particularly took him as like a car guy. But as like I'm discovering is that he's actually discovering becoming a car guy which is really cool so i think like if you're somebody who's just uh, just started getting interested in cars you're just like dang like modifying a car doing this like or you're not even that far yet you're just like you know what having a nice car is cool or having you know uh, a car with some power a car with some interesting features a car that like i'm proud of because this is like my dream car to have um or i'm just interested in the fact that there's so many different cars that perform so differently and are built so differently and like you believe that you're kind of coming around to the idea that cars are, are, are art in a way in the same way that technology itself is an art form then i think you're really going to enjoy autofocus i've really been enjoying it i've been enjoying it at like through the lens of like enjoying marquez brownlee like enjoying cars like it's really cool because it just reminds me of when i first started to get into cars and it's the wonder and it's the uh, excitement about just discovering so much and, and doing the research and becoming so knowledgeable just building facts on facts on facts like basically anything you'd stack up index cards full of car facts and he is in there just in the car facts in the car facts not the car facts with the car fox like facts of cars is what i mean hi Shopping for a used car at the new carfax.com? Really awesome. Go check it out. Autofocused is, is really cool. Cause his take is is like it's fresh. It's from a different angle. It's from this angle of a guy who's just rated like phones forever. He's just like, here's a new phone this year. Here's why it's it's the best phone or it's not the best phone. And his perspective is so fresh and it's so new on it. And I really like his perspective. I really like hearing him talk about it, hearing him come from his angle about cars um, because he's just getting so enveloped in the space. And it's really nice to see. It's really cool to see. He has a very uh, strong opinion about certain things with cars because he comes from technology, because cars are just technology. So he's really coming from the realm of like, does this work? Is this innovation? Does this push the boundary of what's to be expected from transportation or what's to be expected from fun behind transportation, behind your personal transportation. So much so that it inspired him to get a Porsche. I think a, a, a Carrera 4S or, or it's a 911 GT3. I, I'm not sure. I really need to look it up. Kevin will put it here, uh, whatever Porsche Marcus Brownlee bought. I just don't remember. I really wish I do because I, I really love like how much tender love and care he put into building this Porsche into wanting this Porsche. So that's really cool. Now for the actual car enthusiasts, for the actual people who want to watch a good channel, not my channel, 
um, you know, some somebody with some actual entertainment factor and who doesn't sound like they just tried to make a YouTube video, but instead just vomited about nothing for 20 minutes. Um, that includes Donut Media, Hoonigans Before the Buyout, Martini Works is on the newer one, uh, Fitment Industries, the older ones when Martini was there. Um, but those are also more channels of like, I build cars, I want to build a car, I want to uh, build not bot my life, you know, I want to go and get uh, an RX-7 and I want to drop three rotaries in it, lower to the ground, uh, put a huge freaking Tomei exhaust on it, and then bump T-Pain's brap 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 song everywhere. So those are 100% in the car enthusiast camp of people who do very entertaining things, you know, if you really want to go to a place where you're just like the entertainment factor is really mixed with like interesting and different cars, um, and not so much on the build side, but so much on the interested in just loving the cars and community and culture behind it. The Grand Tour on Prime Video is super amazing. And to round off this video, I'm gonna leave you with something that no passive car enthusiast, no active car enthusiast, nobody wants to build their car from the ground up, nobody wants to just purchase it out of the box, go on a thousand horsepower, and people who are just casually interested in, oh, what should I get, the Corolla or the Civic? Like, you know, it's such a basic decision to have. No matter what you are, no matter what level of interest you are in cars, or what level of care you have for cars, don't watch Doug DeMeo. This, 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 this.